Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hey, welcome back for another Filling Station service. I'm your host, Pastor Matthew, and I'm super excited as we take off on another week of our Ultimate Hero series. Today, we're going to talk about generosity and how God wants to give to each of us when we give to others and how important it is that we have a heart of generosity and we are willing to give anything up to follow Jesus. So here to get us started with today's lesson is Churchman to tell you what's up. Do you ever wonder who watches over the church at night? Who stacks the Bibles and makes sure the doors are secure? There is a guardian lurking in the darkness. He isn't the hero Berean asked for, nor the hero they probably need. He is Church Man. 27, 28, 29. Hey kids, Churchman here, ready to tell you what's up. Don't mind me, I'm just counting the church offering here. Uh, I'm so excited when I see people that I give generously. And you know what? Today we're actually talking about how God is generous and how there was a rich man who once asked Jesus how he could make it to heaven. And you know what Jesus told him? Jesus said that he needs to sell all of his possessions and everything he owns to follow him. Now, does that mean that we can't own anything and that we can't ever have anything nice? No, but what it means is that we should be willing to give up anything to serve Jesus. And the cool part is, is that Jesus said that God will bless us not only here on earth, but also in heaven, that when we give more, God will give more to us. That's because God is generous. So anytime, and I mean anytime, someone asks you, what's up? You tell them, God is generous. Stand up and say it with me. One, two, three. God is generous. All right, church man here. I'll see you next time. Right, who can tell me what's up? That's right. God is generous. Today we're talking about how God wants each of us to be generous and how sometimes that means that we have to give things away. That sounds a little backwards, doesn't it? How in order to receive from God who is generous, we have to give things to others. I want you to imagine for a second that I gave you four Kit Kat bars here. I mean, look at these. Don't those, don't those just look tasty? I love a good Kit Kat. Well, I want you to imagine if I gave you all four of these, you could have the option to take all four of them yourself, or maybe you'd give one away or two away, maybe you'd give three away. Um, most people probably wouldn't give them all away. I mean, I, I know that I would probably eat one, but what if I told you that, let's say that you decided to give three of these away. You decided to give three of these mini Kit Kat bars away. And I told you that since you gave three of those away, I'm going to give you three dollars. Wouldn't that be pretty awesome to trade three Kit Kats for three dollars? Because you could actually go buy a whole bag of these for three dollars and have way more Kit Kats with that kind of money. And you see, it's the same thing with us and God, that God wants us to be generous and give to others. And the, the cool part is, is that the Bible says that when we do that, God will bless us beyond what we can imagine, that God will give us even more. So when I gave something small away, I received something greater. And it's the same thing in our lives. God is generous and he wants each of us to be generous to those around us. Let's think about that as we go into this lesson. Let's open with a quick word of prayer. Father, I thank you for this time that we have together today. God, I ask that you would speak to each and every one of us. Help us to see, is there anything in our lives that we need to be willing to give up? Maybe we put too much priority in our toys or our video games or our money. God, what do we need to give up so that we can be generous for the kingdom and we can receive your blessing? I ask that you'd speak to our hearts as we go into this service today. In your holy name, amen. All right. Hey, check out this new memory verse video. It's, it's an awesome one. Um, and sing it if you start to catch on. Special K on the track. Lizzie T got her back. But God called you to do good. Even if it means suffering. Just as Christ suffered for you. He is your example, and you must follow in his steps. For God called you to do good, even if it means suffering. Just as Christ suffered for you, he is your example, and you must follow in his steps. For God called you to do good, even if it means suffering, just as Christ.
Christ suffered for you. He is your example and you must follow in his steps. First Peter 2, 21 and LT. All right, let's read that verse together one more time. It says, for God called you to do good. Even if it means suffering, just as Christ suffered for you, he is your example and you must follow in his steps. Through this whole ultimate series, we've been talking about how we should live like Jesus. And, and this verse is saying that sometimes it's going to be difficult to follow Jesus. Sometimes we might face suffering. And this concept of generosity that we're talking about today, it might almost seem like we're suffering when we're giving things away, when we're, when we're willing to walk away from anything to follow God. But the cool part is, is that Christ suffered way more than that. And we should follow in his steps and God will bless us beyond what we can imagine. He'll give us way more than we could ever imagine. All we have to do is be generous and follow him. Let's think about that as we go into this time of praise and worship. Hut, two, three, four. Hut, two, three, four. <whistles> Combat Chloe reporting for duty. I know you guys have been on your bums all day long, so we're going to get up and do some worship warm-ups. First, put your arms out like this, and we're going to touch the opposite foot with the opposite hand. One, two, three, four. Now, we're going to stand up straight and do some high knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're ready to worship Jesus today. Come on, church, put your hands up.
All right, who can tell me what's up? That's right, God is generous. If you have your Bibles with you, go ahead and turn to Luke chapter 18, verses 18 through 29. You see, today we're talking about how God is generous, which means that he gives, um, and he gives a lot. And uh, we're actually going to be talking about how he'll give us more than we ever need and how we can receive that. You see, generosity kind of works backwards with God. In order to receive more blessings from him, we have to be willing to give even more away. Um, And Jesus gave us an example of this in scripture. And I'm going to read straight from Luke chapter 18, verse 18 today. Um, It says right here, once a religious leader asked Jesus this question. He said, good teacher, what should I do to inherit eternal life? Or in other words, what, how can I make it to heaven? And Jesus asked him, he said, why do you call me good? Only God is truly good. But to answer your question, you know the commandments. You must not commit adultery. You must not murder. You must not steal. You must not falsely testify. Honor your mother and father. The man had replied, he said, I have obeyed all these commandments since I was young. The the man felt pretty good about himself. He's like, great, I'm doing all these things that it takes to make it to heaven. I'm following everything that's written in scripture. I'm good to go. I'm going to make it to heaven. But then Jesus heard his answer and he said this. He said, there's one more thing that you haven't done. He looked at the man. He said, you need to sell all of your possessions and give the money to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. You see, when the man heard this, he was like, wait, I followed everything in scripture, but now you're telling me I have to sell all of my stuff? He was really sad. You want to know why? The Bible says that this man was very rich. He had a lot of stuff. He didn't want to get rid of all of that. He had probably worked really hard to gain all of his wealth. And, and Jesus was saying that you need to get rid of all of that if you want to follow me. Jesus saw that the man was sad. And here is what he said. He said, how hard is it for the rich to enter the kingdom of God? In fact, it's easier for the camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. Now, if you've ever seen a needle before for like sewing or stitching or anything, at the very end, there's there's a hole where the thread goes through, and that's called the eye of the needle. Jesus was saying it's easier for a camel to go through that little tiny hole. Do you think that's even possible? You see, all the people around said, that's impossible. There's no way that a camel could go through the eye of a needle. So how would it be possible for a rich person to get into heaven? And Jesus responded and said, what's impossible for people is possible for God. And then Peter responded and he said, well, Jesus, we've left our homes to follow you. And Jesus said that he assures them that everyone who has given up something for the sake of the kingdom of God will be repaid many times over in this life and in heaven. So what does all of this mean? Jesus was talking to this rich man and he said that he had to get rid of everything he owned if he was going to follow Jesus. You see, what Jesus was saying was that that the rich man, he cared too much about his stuff. Now, does that mean in order to follow Jesus, we can't own things? We can't have toys? We can't have video games? What if I told you that in order to be a Christian, you had to get rid of all of your stuff? Like sell it all, get rid of everything. Would that be easy for you to do? it probably wouldn't be too easy. And uh, there probably wouldn't be too many people that would want to follow Jesus. But here's what Jesus was trying to say. He was trying to say that following him should be more important than anything that we have. We should be willing to give up anything that we have. That that if, if my video games or my toys are so important to me that I wouldn't give them up to follow Jesus, then then obviously I'm not a true Christ follower. Now, I'm not saying you have to get rid of all of your stuff. What I'm saying is, is is that stuff so important to you that you wouldn't give it away? Jesus isn't saying that you have to get rid of it. He's saying, would you be willing to get rid of it to follow me? Would you get rid of all those things? And here's the cool part about learning that God is generous. Jesus said that if we're willing to give those things up, and if we begin to give up some of those things, that God is generous and that God will give us even more. So that means that if I have $5 and I give it to someone who's in need, God might bless me with $10 or $20. I don't know what it'll look like, but but I know that if I give more away, that God will bless me with even more than I have right now. 
And so that's the cool thing about God being generous is it's a little bit backwards. I have to be willing to give and then God will give me even more. When we give to others, when we help those that are in need, God will begin to bless us and he'll give us more. And Jesus said that not only will we have blessings on earth, but that we'll store up treasures in heaven. That means that one day when you die and go to heaven, you'll receive a reward, an eternal reward. So I wanna ask you today, I'm not telling you that you need to sell all of your toys or get rid of all your video games or give all of your money away. But is there anything in your life that you're saying, whoa, I wouldn't be willing to give that away? You see, Jesus wants our hearts to change on that. There should be nothing in our life that is so important that we wouldn't give it up to follow Jesus. And, and sometimes that can be really tough. But maybe today you could ask yourself, what do I have that I can give? Because if you give something away, God will bless you for that. Maybe God will challenge you to give some of your birthday money or chore money or money that you earned cleaning up. Maybe God will challenge you to give extra of that to missions. And I, I promise you that if you do that, God will bless you with even more someday. And maybe he'll challenge you that, that man, look at all your toys. You have a lot. Maybe you could give some to someone who doesn't have any. Maybe God will show you that you have lots of friends, but there's a child at school that doesn't have friends. Maybe you could go and be friends with them. When we give to others that are in need, when we help others that are in need, God is generous. He'll give us even more than what we started with. But it all begins with us being willing to surrender and give to others. So what are you willing to surrender today? What are you willing to give up? What are you willing to give to others? Maybe it's money, maybe it's toys, maybe it's time. Uh, what is it that you are willing to give up? As we sing this song, I want you to begin to pray and say, God, I'm gonna give this to you. Whatever it may be, whether it's time, money, toys, video games, whatever it might be, you're gonna give that to God and trust that God will bless you with even more than you have right now because nothing should be more important than following him. Let's sing this song together as we talk about surrendering it all so that we can draw closer to him. Let's worship him today. I surrender. I surrender. I want to know you more. I want to know you. I surrender, I surrender, I want to know you more, I want to know you more. God, I thank you that you are generous and that when we give to others, that when we give to those that are in need, God, that we can trust that you will bless us, that you will give us way more than we could ever imagine because you are generous. Help us to be generous to those around us and to give to those who we see that are in need. We love you, God, and we thank you for all that you do for us. Amen. Wow, what an amazing service we've had today. Thank you, boys and girls, for tuning in and watching as we have taken another week of this Ultimate Hero series. And I wanna challenge each of you to be generous every day of your lives. What can you give to someone who's in need? And then watch as God is generous to you and blesses you beyond belief. Thanks for watching today.